Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Shauna for Hair. If you are new here, do not forget to click the subscribe button down below because I'm going to be dropping a lot of braid knowledge and showing you how to build up your braid brand. So if you are new or you're already in the industry, you could probably learn some things from this channel. So let's get right into it. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about products and tools that are essential when braiding. This is gonna make your whole job more efficient and everything's just gonna be more smooth sailing if you have these tools and products. So let's get into it. So the first products you will need are your combs and you wanna have two different types of combs. You wanna have a wide tooth comb to detangle the hair and for when you're working with thicker hair and you also wanna have is a precision parting comb or any comb, it doesn't have to be a precision comb. I just find these combs give you more detail to your work, like it's easier to define the parts and it's easier to just get clean parts in general. And I feel like if you're a beginner or you do struggle with clean parts, I highly recommend one of these precision combs because it has a big tooth right here, which is separate from these fine teeth, which kind of gets in and snags those little hairs in between, which make your parts look not clean. So I will link uh, in the description box below my website, which I do sell these combs. So if you do want to purchase one, go ahead and get you one. And you can also use this comb to distribute the product once you've detangled it first. So it won't be like snagging on your client's hair, but this is how it looks. And it's super beneficial. I'm telling you, this comb will change your parting game. I love it. I use it all the time. So the second product, which all braiders should have, which I love and I don't braid without, is a magnetic wristband. So it works like this. You snap it on your wrist. It has a metal plate here, which is magnetic. So that way you can put like your bobby pins or your clips where it holds it and it does not fall off, as you guys can see. But what I like to use it for, and a lot of braiders use it for, is for products. So like, say when people are using Shining Jam or whatever product you're using, instead of putting it on the back of your hand, which it usually tends to melt off, and it irritates my skin personally, I like to put it on the magnetic part so that way it doesn't fall off and it's right on your wrist so that way you don't have to keep dipping back into your jar. So it's kind of like your little assistant and everything's right where you need it instead of scattered everywhere and you know you're unorganized. So this will help you move faster too instead of searching for your stuff or your product. So this is great, I love this. And I also sell these on my website too so this will also be linked in the description box down below. I'm telling you this will change your braid game. So your next essential tools will be your clips. I use three different types of clips. One is alligator clips, so I use this one for when I'm sectioning off larger parts of the hair. Uh, I also use the metal ones, they're kind of like alligator clips, but they're metal. And I use this for like say, separating one portion of a braid or like a row of braids. For, for example, when I'm doing box braids, to separate the row, I would just clip the whole row into this. And then I use these little ones right here. And I use this for actually individual braids. So if I'm doing box braids, I'll use it for each box to separate them. So these are great just to keep you organized. You don't have to use these types, you can use the other ones, but definitely get yourself some clips because you're gonna need them to separate hair so it won't be in your way. So this next tool is a thread rack and I'm telling you guys, this is a must. It helps you keep organized. You can line all your hair on here. So when your client comes, or actually before your client comes, you can have everything already prepped out and you could just pick and go, pick and go, and don't have to stop. Um, it does only have 60 spools on it, so I will show you how I do my thread wrap. If you only have one, I have a couple and I've actually ordered another one. They have two sizes. There's one that has 60 spoolies and then there's one that has 120. So it's kind of like two stuck together. I highly recommend getting the 120 one because these ones are... These ones are not small, it does the job, but I use I usually use two, especially if I'm using doing box braids. But I did order the bigger ones, which would be better. But I will show you in another video how to thread them to maximize the little spoolies that you can uh, you can put the hair on. So this is from Amazon. I will link it down below, but definitely a must. Keeps you organized and you don't have to worry about laying hair somewhere and getting uh, messed up. But I also do see other braiders use like other types of versions of this, it's kind of like a rod where it has different arms you can lay the hair out. Anything where you can lay your hair out and organize instead of you always having to rip the hair and start to braid, because this will save you a lot of time. Don't mind mine, mine is like broken, but definitely will save you some time, guys. I highly recommend it. So, well, the next thing you guys should have as braiders is a styling cape, and this is just for your clients to protect their clothing so that way no product or debris or any extra hair gets on them. So that way when they're done, you can just take off the cape and shake them and they're good to go. Uh, it also makes you look really professional, guys, so I highly recommend using a cape. 
I got mine from Sally's. You can get them anywhere. Sally's, Amazon, anywhere. And they are waterproof. Like, it's a thinner material, but it is waterproof. So if you are washing hair, you could use it as well. But I highly recommend using this. Keep yourself looking professional and keep your clients clean. So now for one of the most popular products I see every bidder use. I use it. I love it. It is Shining Jam. And this works wonders, guys. You will love it. And it's going to give your braids that perfect shiny sleek finish and it comes in different kinds this is the yellow jar with honey um the extra hold they also have the red jar which is i think stronger than this and they have a green purple and brown it comes in three different sizes as well this is the salon size so this is 16 ounces and there's an eight ounce and then there's a small kind but i use this and i find that it works on every hair texture but i do see some people that say it doesn't work on every hair texture, so they do switch it up. So you may have to switch up the different uh, kinds for depending on your client's hair texture. But for me, I love it and it works great. You definitely are gonna need this or uh, some type of braiding gel to make your braids look really fresh and neat. So next you're gonna need is some type of mousse which you're gonna use to set your braids once you've completed the style. I like to use the Vigorol mousse that's enriched with macadamia oil or you could use the one that's enriched with olive oil. I just prefer this one. And they are alcohol free. It gives you the hold plus shine. Uh, I love this one. This is my favorite. You can get this at your local beauty supply. It looks like this. Um, I do see a lot of stylists use tropical roots. I personally just don't like it because I feel like it comes out a little bit too wet. This is more of like a dryer. So the last essential product for all my braiders, which you guys will need, are some styling strips or a do-rag. I use both, but the styling strip goes hand in hand with the mousse. So once you've set your style, you want to put the styling strips on for it to dry and everything to just set in. Uh, it does come in two colors. It comes in white and black. They do the same thing, but it does come in two different sizes. So this is the wider size, and they also have the, the thinner ones, which is smaller. I wouldn't even recommend buying those. Just get the bigger ones. And these are stretchy, so you can pull them like back. You can tie them, and that way you can set your client's hair. What I like to do, since I do like edges, I do edges with like edge control and then I set it with the mousse and then I put oh, a styling strip on it and then for the rest of the hair I would put like a do-rag and then I would just dry them. But yes, highly recommended. You get this at your local beauty supply. They're super cheap. It's like $5. So that's it guys for this video. I hope you guys found it very helpful. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you do want to see more videos like this. I'm here to help. I'm going to help you guys learn a braid no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, or wherever you're at. I'm here to help. Shauna for hair is here for you. So I'm going to see you guys in episode two. And I also will be linking the tools and products in the description box. So stay tuned for that and purchase your guys stuff and become some successful braiders. And let's get it.